Broadcasting. All right, we are now broadcasting. So welcome everybody to today's Stingray Live Demo webinar. We are joined by Stab today, specifically Sean. Sean, go ahead and say hello. Hello everyone, how's everyone doing today? I'm sure they're doing great. I uh, <laughs> just want to let everyone remember that we have a Q&A portion of this webinar. Um, so if you want to ask any questions, go ahead and put them right there. And we'll be sure to either answer those questions during this webinar, or we can follow up with you afterwards if it's a more technical question. Um, I'll introduce myself. I'm Ryan Ruth, the Director of Marketing here at Phoenix Audio Technologies. And I'm accompanied by Zach Flanagan, our Head of Direct Channel Sales. Uh, thank you, Ryan. Zach here. Uh, yeah, I head our Direct Channel Sales. Uh, so um, I will offer some insight during this presentation on uh, what makes the Stingray a good sell. That's where I, I fit in. Yeah, I think ultimately what I'd like everyone to take away from this webinar is the, the ease of install and the simplicity of use of this Stingray. You're not going to see a DSP on the market, um, you know, like this one, you know, you're going to find out there's no programming involved and we're going to go through a lot of those highlighted features here. But um, let's jump right in. See what else? Just once. Why don't you go ahead and kick us off? All right. right. Now, here is our PowerPoint. We're going through the Stingray DSP mixer. And in about 15 minutes, you're going to know everything you need to know about this Stingray. Now, let me cycle through here. And we already introduced ourselves. I'm Ryan, we've got Zach, and Sean on the line. And let's jump right in. Zach, I'll let you take it away here. All right. Thanks, Ryan. Yeah, so today uh, we're going to really focus on the Stingray. Um, an overview, which you will get to meet the Stingray. Uh, we'll probably discuss some of the accessories, uh, some of the features, um, install and setup, and the room versatility. And there will be some time for Sean to jump in and discuss how they incorporate the Stingray into their solutions. Uh, if you are in Canada and looking to purchase the Stingray stop, it's uh, your number one stop for that. Uh, so here is uh, the Stingray. I'm not going to go through all the kind of each different input and what it means, but you know, you can see it's a rack mountable uh, audio mixer uh, that offers four microphone inputs, um, four unique line inputs, uh, some different connectivity from to go uh, connect into it. And uh, the two daisy chain links are for daisy chain and the Stingray uh, in case you need to add additional microphones. And lastly, and I think something that makes this uh, product uh, even more sellable uh, or adds more value is the power amplifier that's mm -hmm. included. Uh, it adds um, value by saving you money and space in the rack. Awesome. So some of the important accessories which we'll touch on really quick is uh, we have a lot of customers that still love the XLR connections. Um, I think these are a lot of times found with um, guys that like to install these themselves, the, the DIYers. Uh, and we do have an adapter, um, so when people want to work with an XLR microphone, um, they can. We send these out pre-wired if you request it, and uh, makes the install, you know, very, very simple where you're just plugging, a uh, you're plugging something in, uh, and it's very, very easy. Right, and on the other side of your screen here, you have our Phoenix Connect application, which as you can see right here, on our, de on our, uh, on our table here, we have um, it connected to our Stingray, as you're hearing it live. And this is available on virtually every platform that you could possibly want to have within your conference room. So whether that's an iPad with iOS or an Android platform or directly on a dedicated um, desktop, you can download this app directly there and you can uh, dial directly from the app, uh, adjust the mic levels, the speaker levels, and uh, it really, what it's ni what's nice about it is that you have control of the things that are most important in the meeting and it helps you you know get the meeting running very smoothly without all these extra controls involved that are really just going to make the meeting a lot more confusing and it's free so that's always a benefit there a great price yeah to see a little bit more closely i think um 
you know, there are other control applications on the market that do a very, very, very good job. Um, but a lot of those are just not affordable. I mean, they're, they're, they're crazy expensive, crazy technical, and it involves a lot to keep those running and supporting and upgrading when needed. Um, ours offers uh, the client to have control and to save them some costs on that. And basically, you know, have every function of that control that's necessary uh, for the meeting. So let's move into uh, some daisy chaining. So the, the Stingray is able to daisy chain, which just means that if you have a larger room um, and you need additional microphones, uh, you will be able to simply do that with CAT cable. And um, keep in mind that each power amplifier is available throughout that chain. Um, this especially comes in handy when you're zoning, which we'll talk about in a little bit. So, and by a little bit, I meant immediately. Um, so zoning with our device, uh, if, I mean, you can see it from the diagram on your screen, but uh, if you have that uh, room that is split up and maybe you need conference room A, conference room B, and then conference room C is a combination of those uh, two rooms creating one large room. Um, you are able to do that with our device by the click of a button. Um, and on that controller I talked about also with the click of a button, you can uh, combine or split those rooms. So it's an awesome feature that's um, built into the device. Right. Now on this slide, we're gonna hand it over to Sean to explain a little bit about how the Stingray has fit into some of their projects. Yeah, absolutely. So, um, Having the Stingray on board has really helped us out whenever we're dealing with situations where other Phoenix Audio products aren't going to meet the right application for the dealer. Things like the Condor for a wall mount or the Spider on table or ceiling mounted uh, microphone speaker arrays. So when we brought on Sennheiser, they've got an excellent product called their Team Connect ceiling mic. And we have that illustrated in the top left corner there of this uh, diagram. And it requires a DSP. So we actually had found out that Phoenix has actually worked with Sennheiser to approve this as, an off, as a microphone that does work excellently with their DSP. And so we've been able to offer that as a solution for a couple of different applications like the one you see here. And one of the key things that I think makes them such a powerful combination is like the, the gentleman here said, the Stingray itself is very easy to set up and configure. There's not very much downtime. And that's actually the same thing with the Sennheiser Team Connect as well. Some of its competitors in ceiling uh, microphone arrays take a lot of configuration time and a lot of hours uh, to actually set up and configure. But when you pair these two together, it's almost a simple plug and play, which I'm sure uh, Ryan and, and, and Zach can attest to. So when you factor that into your amount of downtime and, and configuration on a job site, it makes them a much more profitable solution. And again, you know, whenever you're in those high design uh, situations, you know, we, this one was actually for an architectural firm where they had a very expensive table that they did not want anything being drilled into, any microphones on the table, they wanted clean slate. So this allowed them to kind of have uh, one box just for their connections and then the DSP, the ceiling mic and, and kept everything off the table and, and made it as minimal as possible. So. Um, this is a solution that we do offer at Staub Electronics under our system design. So if anyone ever requires uh, a quote, bill of materials, as well as a, a line drawing that they can present to their end user to kind of really simplify, you know, when you have a lot of these products and a lot of these bits and pieces going into a system, it's sometimes hard to articulate that to an end user uh, on how everything's going to kind of function. So we do these type of drawings just to really break it down, keep it simple and make sure they understand you know, all these line items on this quote, uh, where do they kind of come into play in the overall design? So I, I think this, the Stingray has worked really well with uh, that particular microphone. We've done it with a few other uh, in-ceiling mics or even just uh, table-mounted microphones as well. But I think, like they said, the, the ease of use and how simple it is to set up and configure and get you up and running is really the key to the success on, on these products. That's fantastic. I couldn't have said it better myself. Yeah, Sean, I think um, what a value you guys add. Uh, you don't see that all the time uh, through all distribution channels, kind of this, this layout. And think of a end user looking at this and how complicated it must seem. Like, where, where are you to begin when you're setting that up? So that's fantastic. And I think you make such a complicated thing so simple. And what's so great about this Sennheiser, since that's what we're looking at here, paired with the Stingray, it's virtually plug and play. Mm -hmm. And you're not going to find that with any other solution. Yeah, I completely agree. Awesome. As we move on, Zach's gonna talk a little bit about the bridging feature. Yeah, it'll be really quick. Um, 
much like it'll be when you use a device, right? If you want to, if you're on a video call like we are right now, and you want to dial somebody in, you just simply dial their number, mm -hmm. and it'll bridge them into the call. Uh, so what we offer here at Phoenix is seamless bridging uh, between interfaces. And when I mean seamless, it's absolutely seamless. You don't have to press a button or enable something or switch. You just dial and we will actually bridge that um, kind of third party caller onto our device into your call. Yeah, it's, this is something we use nearly every day in our own meetings here at the office. You know, we have someone out in the warehouse or they're stuck in traffic. We need to ask them a quick question. We dial them right in on the Phoenix Connect app and they're seamlessly integrated into that meeting right then and there. Yep. So really nice feature. Very easy to use. A um, couple other things with the Stingray. We don't want you to forget that there are unique line inputs. So if you do have that room where you have a presenter, maybe they need a handheld mic or a lapel mic, or even you're doing a catch box, something like that, um, we have those inputs for you. Um, there's also room for to integrate your media into your device. And I know we already talked about it, but there is a built-in power amplifier. Um, our power amplifier is eight ohms and it's 15 watts per channel. Um, if you do need 70 volt speakers, uh, have no fear. Uh, you can, much like you just saw in Sean's design, um, you can add a third party power amplifier, no problem, um, and integrate that. But um, so you don't have to use ours, but it is there for those rooms where maybe 70 volt isn't necessary or out of budget or whatever the case may be. Awesome. Now plug and play, and this kind of speaks to the web GUI aspect, how um, this is where you can adjust some of the sensitivity levels of the mic just by entering the IP address directly on the Stingray. So you see it on the front panel, go to your web browser, type it in. This is where you can adjust mic sensitivity levels, like I just said, you know, balance, you see um, the speaker levels, um, and you can set it and forget it. So it's, it speaks directly to that plug and play aspect. Yeah, and I mean, when you look at this image, you essentially become an installer or a programmer, quote unquote, of the Stingray. Uh, it's, it's really that simple. You click each um, icon. If you, if you have micro, just microphones, you click on that, adjust your sensitivity level, you adjust your speakers where you want it, and then that's it. If you also have some line inputs, you go into there and you choose what the line input is um, and adjust from there, and then you're done. Yeah, I will say one more thing that as you look at the interface here, you know, what we have in mind when we create something like this is making it intuitive, you know, like anything, like when you uh, are on your cell phone and you don't necessarily need someone to train you how to use it, it just kind of makes sense. It's the same thing here. You don't need to go through, you know, weeks of certifications and classroom time. It just makes sense. And lastly, we'll just talk about a little bit of versatile, uh, versatility and scalability. Um, and I think the main point here is just kind of show you some rooms. Um, so when you're out there in the field or, or you're a customer, I mean, there's quite a few people on, so I'm sure there's some customers on here. When you're looking at your very own conference rooms um, and you see something, you can kind of fit it to where the Stingray fits in. Um, if Ryan wants to go ahead and shoot over to the next uh, screen, yep. I believe it, oh, I thought it breaks those down a little bit more. Um, sorry about that. Uh, so. Taking a look at the room on the, the left, which is, uh, you'll see those little black dots. Those are XLR microphones on those tables, right. or on that table. Um, so that's a simple setup, right? You have, you need some microphones on a table. Those happen to be XLR. They were pre-existing um, in that room. So when we ripped out all the old gear and replaced it with ours in a Zoom room, uh, we were able to utilize the same stuff they had in there, which was actually really important because, I mean, as Sean mentioned, he said something about an expensive table and not wanting to drill holes in it. Well, this also was a very expensive table and they did drill holes in it. So the last thing they wanted to do was uh, remove those microphones and just have a bunch of holes all over the table. So we were able to utilize their old system with no additional programming and create you know, really, really good audio in that room. Um, in the top right hand corner, you have an example of a room where there's just no conduit. So it's very difficult to bring microphones to the table unless it's wireless and they did not want to go that route. So we just hung some shirt uh, MX 202s on the ceiling and call it a day, really simple. Uh, and then lastly, on the bottom right hand corner, what's great about that room is that is a split room. So uh, you can see um, room A on the left side, room B on the right side, and then room C would be opening that wall, which is it, it is opening, creating one large conference room. Um, and that comes from the zoning ability of the Stingray. Fantastic. What do we got here, Zach? Uh, this is um, just some images I like to say is of the current DSP world, which for all intents and purposes is confusing unless you're that person that, that knows it really well. Um, and I've been in the industry for 10 years and I still don't know what's going on um, over here. So much less 
would a customer know what's going on here? And the Stingray is as simple as just looking at the device. Mm -hmm. I mean, what, what do we have for the, 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 the DSP world now? What's there it is. World? It's the device. Like you don't need all those bells and whistles for every single conference room. And, and don't get me wrong, I think there are some, or I know there are some rooms that are extremely complicated and require a certain amount of customization to make the room flow like you need it to. Um, but the majority of rooms do not. The majority of rooms are simple and um, an automatic DSP uh, will cover the room perfectly and it will save you the time and money um, that you need to do other things. Yeah, absolutely right. Hey everybody, well thank you for taking the time to watch this. You know, fit, we're a little over 15 minutes, but you can uh, consider yourself certified in the Stingray DSP mixer. Um, you can go out there and install one yourself and I'm sure it will work perfectly. Um, you know the features. Um, if you want to learn more about the Stingray and if you want to reach out directly to either Phoenix or Staub, here's the information right there on your screen. Um, but other than that, I just want to thank everybody for attending. Sean, thank you so much for taking the time. Zach? Yeah, thank you. Much appreciated. All right. Yeah, thank well, you, guys. Yeah, of course, Sean. Everybody have a great rest of your day. We'll see you around.